We're not doing food. Uh oh, little guy, you want to come get on camera? Feeding time. Yo, welcome to feeding time. Big guy Rye back here doing another performance meal. Uh, this is pretty exciting for me to share some of these. This is a very simple one uh, today. I was actually going to try to run and go do a food video, uh, but I'm dealing with a little something with Dodge, and I got to go get my, my Challenger uh, and their corporate and two... <laughs> Sophie acts like uh, a guard dog. Um, she's not. She she doesn't even know how to bite. Like never. She's never. She doesn't. She, she does. She's not. I don't. She has teeth. As crooked as they are, her little Frenchy face. She doesn't know how to bite. And but she acts like she's like equipped with like all the the world's best home defense. You know, just firearms possible. And uh, it's not the case. Little guy, I think he, he's capable of biting, but not Sophie. But she's the one. Little guy's cool, calm, and collected. He doesn't go crazy. Doorbell could ring. Amazon could bang on the door and go to the UPS and go running off. But Sophie, every time, maniac. If I were to open the door, she would just kiss the person. But it is what it is. So anyways, this is a simple performance meal. 80 grams uh, plus a protein, probably with... Uh, 85 grams of protein total in this. Okay, so what's in this one before I, I dig in because it's still <laughs> cooling off a little bit. This is today where the protein we are doing is the No Evil uh, Pulled Pork Barbecue. This is all 100% vegan, by the way, guys. A complete protein meal on this. There's only one and a half grams of fat per serving. There's three and a half servings per container. Uh, we have 20 grams of protein per serving as well in this. And then, which for 70 grams total, we have uh, a serving, which is three uh, tablespoons of the hemp hearts. These are what I always talk about. And in these is in 10 grams of protein and only one, grams of carb, one gram of carbs uh, in this, which that one gram is fiber. So essentially there's no carbs in this. Uh, the fiber negates the carbs and 12 grams of omega-3 and 6 on these. Great thing to have if you're vegan. Also, old can of corn, you old can of corn, you. Uh, we went with a whole uh, can of a Simple Truth Organic, super sweet uh, whole kernel corn in this, uh, in which nine grams of carbohydrates per serving, three and a half servings a can, uh, but one gram of that is fiber, so eight grams of uh, carbohydrates per serving at 16, 24, about 28 grams of carbohydrates in this. Also, I went with uh, about one and a half to two servings of uh, fresh broccoli as well. Uh, I, I cook it in a, a pan. I put a little bit of olive oil in it as well, just to keep the pan um, from the food sticking. Uh, I love olive oil, just a little, not a lot on that. And what else? And seasoning, cayenne pepper, a little turmeric, and a little black pepper, uh, as well as a little iodized salt too, uh, which is great for the thyroid on that. So this is it. This is a fairly large portion of food, but it's very easy to eat for me. And this is my performance meal. One of them, I had a big one in the morning where I do even more vegetables. I do some fruit also on the side for more antioxidants and micronutrients. But as you could see, this is 85 grams of protein. I could cut down on some of the bulk of this. If I, I could have cut a serving of broccoli down, I could have put, I could have put a little less corn in but I wanted the whole can because I wanted the carbohydrates with this. Uh, nothing crazy. This is about a meal with, with probably right around 30 grams of carbs in it total. Tops. Probably a little bit under that even. So high protein, low carbs, vegan. This isn't, this isn't rocket science. This isn't overly complicated. But now you have a meal here that you can, you can understand. It's feeding time. Oh, I love some corn. I got the black shakers in. They're in production right now. 
and then they'll be shipped over. Every day with Vimy More Nutrition, just working on stuff, mapping stuff out. The marketing aspect is very stressful. Because I, I think I just, I pull myself in so many directions, but you have to. It's the only way to be successful. I mean, I enjoy the majority of it, but marketing stuff can be a little stressful. On top of, like, I got to go train legs and do my cardio. And at a high level, like, I go, I go hard. So it's like you got yourself on the mindset. If you know, you know. If not, you don't. Days if I take off or so are pretty less, can be stressful still, but like training and like it can be, especially for what I'm training for, is uh, takes a lot of effort mentally. Physically, it's actually fairly easy. It's more mental than anything. And for some reason, people always try to get a hold of me when no matter what time I go work out, that's when I'm, my phone is the busiest. And I'm just like, you don't want to even like acknowledge it while you're there, but sometimes you can't help it. I can hear one of them. Shh. We're not doing food. Uh oh, little guy, you want to come get on camera? You want to show the people your face? Oh, move that. Uh oh, you guys coming for an appearance? Come up, Sophie. Come on. Come make it, oh, there's your little, oh, now little guy left. Hi. <laughs> well, oh, you don't like being on camera. You guys can't have this. I don't want you guys to have corn in your poop. Huh? I gotta go pick that up. You're our bitch, Dad. This is their house. I tell them that all the time. They let me live in it. They run this place. They've got their photos everywhere. They're like, this is our dad. He does food video videos. Which they're taking that over. People like them more than me. I don't blame them. I'm hoping Dodge customer, the supervisor was supposed to call me on two different occasions within 24 hours. They've missed both of those windows. They have a, there's an issue I told you guys with the challengers. They're evaporator cords. They got a faulty evaporator cord and it happened. It, it's a very common thing that they've already, I know a buddy at Dodge. And they were the ones that smartened me up. They go, because my car has very low mileage. They said, don't pay for this. Especially because I'm switching it out. They go, get them to cover this. They go, they need to do a recall on it. We've been telling them forever. They won't do it because for whatever reason, it's an expensive repair. But there were a few other things that happened over at the, the Prestige Dodge. I got my vehicle Tobin across the in Henderson. I like them a lot. They've always treated me very well. The Prestige... They got caught in multiple lies. One trying to price gouge. And they don't like it when they get called out on it. And then they flat out refused to fix the car. So I'm going to go get that. But I was trying to get a hold of the supervisor. The car's been there for a week almost. And they don't want to talk about it because they don't want it, they don't, they don't want to deal with it. But they're going to deal with it. I'm very persistent. I don't like it when people are bad. And I caught prestige being bad. And so it's my moral duty and obligation as a large human being that could beat the shit out of them to do the right thing. So they don't take advantage of other people, weaker people. I 
Everybody wins if you just do good and sell good. Everybody wins. There's no need to be bad. And we got to put an end to that. You guys will notice such a difference in your energy. Consuming more vegetables and things in quality plant protein, it doesn't weigh you down like eating animal flesh. And it's just the easiest way to put it. And I used to eat more of it than anybody. My energy levels, my conditioning, my just my body, my metabolism just keeps getting better and better. Over nine months. Vegan, which like, and I don't get paid. I don't make any money. This is this is me telling you. And I've I've talked about every form of dieting I've ever done. This isn't a way of diet. This isn't a form of dieting. This is the way to eat with the foods that you like interchanged. Performance and compassion. There's no argument, and all the research points that it's superior. Unless you read a piece of research funded by the meat and dairy industry. That's a whole other, whole other conversation. I love me some pump like city. That and the creatine, I got 10 grams of ribose. Highly recommend uh, adding, if you could buy ribose fairly cheap on Amazon or online. <clears throat> uh, eventually we'll, we will make just a ribose supplement. I used to have it in the BCAA. Unfortunately, ribose doesn't mix well with certain other ingredients and it can cause the, the supplement to harden up which we had happen many years ago uh, with our original BCAA formula. I, and I just I go, we can't put the ribose because the shelf life, it doesn't, it stays, it doesn't go bad. It just hardens up and it's not visually appealing. But the product by itself doesn't happen. But five to 10 grams before you, as your pre-workout or intra-workout, Ribose is so good for our heart. It will help you with your conditioning as well and ATP and just energy production. Uh, I notice, and then being vegan using it, it's even even and even more beneficial. And that with the, it's like that stack with the beetroot powder, game over. I was doing my assault bike yesterday. I don't get tired and I go all out. I was talking to, and I think I, <clears throat> I was talking to Wade Barrett a few weeks ago. He got his home gym set up, but we were talking about the assault bike because he was telling me Edge swears by it. And I go, yeah, it's, it's great. I go, it's actually kind of easy. He goes, what? He goes, oh no, he goes, I do one. He goes, I do one set of Tabata, Tabata uh, eight, eight sets of 20 seconds on all out with 10 seconds off, eight times. He goes, I go through one round of that, one round of eight sets. And uh, he goes, I'm spent, he goes, I'm done. And I go, oh, I do like five or six rounds. And like, I go, usually I do that like after I do like an hour on the elliptical. <laughs> and he, he goes, no, 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 I go all out though. And I go, yeah, yeah, so do I. And I could tell he like, I've been training. I've never let my conditioning go. Uh, and not saying that he necessarily did. It's very hard. 
My conditioning is way better than what people will ever, ever know. The entire time wrestling in WWE, I couldn't even breathe through my nose. I could, I, no, no oxygen. That's why I breathed through my mouth. And I still had fantastic cardio. And that was being a mouth breather, which is most things athletes break their nose. They freak out because they can't breathe. I made, I it went my whole life like that. Then I finally got my nose fixed. I go, man, this is way better. That's why like wrestling when I was after it got way easier Especially when I did the indies, even though I was in a lot of pain, my wind, I was like, man, this is so easy to breathe. I was getting drowned my whole life. <clears throat> now I'm above, above water and I'm free. Wedge, one of my favorite people. I like him a lot. Done. Woo. <clears throat> there we have it, guys. Uh, 85 gram, uh, grams of protein, vegan performance meal at home. I got to run. I got to go grab my car and uh, maybe shell shock somebody. I don't know. I'm waiting for the supervisor to call. So anyways, uh, you guys, please uh, turn on notifications. Thank you to everybody, all my uh, great fans in India, the Russell Chatters, you guys uh, have been awesome. Thank you. The, I've told you guys, and it's, if you see the YouTube channel is growing rapidly, and all my, my great fan, fans in India, which remember if I went to that the ball, I think it was in Mumbai, we had like, it was anywhere from eleven to 14,000 people. I've heard different amounts, but there's a video online. It was insane. Fantastic, cool moment. The uh, But if you guys get me to 1 million YouTube subscribers, with the Russell Chatters YouTube. I will do a two hour exclusive interview. Anything goes for two hours if you get me to 1 million subscribers on here. We are gonna overcome this suppression. I knew there was gonna be a way and we have. I have, think we have found the way. Twitter's already going up and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Instagram has started going up uh, also randomly about a couple months ago and, uh, and TikTok has been on fire pretty consistently. So thank you guys once again. And uh, Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. Uh, the best supplements on the planet for men and women. Sweetened with stevia. No artificial sweeteners and colors. And vegan friendly so anybody can use the products. And products that actually work. Stay hungry, my friends. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.